Welcome everybody and welcome Mr. Barry Peatling to the Barry Peatling Sports Show. And welcome to you Colin Sutcliffe and all my interstate viewers and all my people around the world uh, tuning into these videos. It's, uh, I hope you're enjoying it. Very good. Well, before we get into the cricket and a bit of Chelsea news, Chelsea football news, let's have a look at it. yesteryear. Well, I get that out of headline. hand and show all these people out around the world. That was one of my very good headlines up there on, uh, in Rapanya. Peatling... Morgan, Star and Rupp, win. Kick seven goals that day. Seven lazy goals. A. Hey, Morgan kicked six. Six. Kevin Northcote kicked a lazy couple. And you dismantled Dimbulla. We destroyed him. That was the year he won the flag. And that was the year I finished second in a goal kicking with 60 goals, which is still a record time, which is 50 years. It's, I was only checking up a couple of weeks ago on the Wimmer, Wimmer League football page. Yeah. And, uh, Still a record for a rover, 60 goals. And you got three votes in that game. I was easily the best man in the game. Seven goals straight, Colin. Seven goals straight. Straight. We kicked 19-5. Ben Lord well, kicked six and really kicked a couple there, but it was, uh, that was year one play. That's pretty good, isn't it? And a very, very good headline, I thought. Excellent thought head sort of headline. Bring it out to... Uh, remind the viewers your... Remind, that's... Yeah, I could sort of play the game there. Of your sporting prowess. Brings back good memories, Jim Dambula. Jim Dambula. Well, let's get on to the cricket then. Yeah. Semi-finals of the World Cup are coming up, Barry. The semi-finals, Australia versus India on the Thursday. Mm -hmm. at SCG at 2.30. 2.30. Yep. And that's right, we're on the Thursday. New Zealand. New Zealand versus South Africa on the Tuesday. Yep, 12 o'clock. In Auckland. Mm. 12, is that 12 at noon our time? 12 or? our time, yeah, 2 o'clock their time. So they'll probably go from 12 to about 8. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's, the, that's the ground with the short where, where Australia and New Zealand played. That's 40 yard boundary. Yeah, that, that really short boundary. And also, the um, not that many people hit it that much, that often, but where all the wickets fell down, New Zealand got the um, Saudi and the Bolt and the Bolt. Was yeah, it? Bolt. He, he got another four wickets. He, yeah. he, that fella is going to, he went in the top three bowls in the world, that fella. Mm. I've seen him a couple of times. He can bowl. He just got an $800,000 IPL contract. Well, why not? Yeah. He's, he's uh, a bit like the Johnsons and the Pat Netherways and uh, James Faulkner, but now he's... Because uh, the other fellow's not bad, he, the other New Zealand. What's his name? It's, uh, the other bowler. The other New Zealand. Southie. Southie, he's not too bad either. He's a very good bowler. they got a good combination, but he is... He's right arm and um, Bolt's left arm, and they both swing the opposite directions. Bolt will... Now he's only 22 or something, isn't he? Yeah. He's going to be around for long. He's going to be a superstar. Right? We, we he might even take over from Richard Hadley. Uh, he's finished. Yeah, I think the combination is almost as good as Richard Hadley and whoever you and Chatfield or whatever the um, the combination that they had. But um, oh, I think they're probably better because yeah. you and Chatfield. He was just ordinary bowler, but Richard Hadley's uh, he was in my top five best players I've seen all in my, all my life. Oh yeah, all round. Very very good. What about Guptill? Yeah, I've just mentioned him now. 237 of 160 balls, which was unreal. He hit 121, 21 mm. metre, six. No, I don't know where they get these measurements. I think they make these measurements. Computer. Up. He hit the, on the roof of this, this, um... Yeah, it, the small ground, don't they? Well, this one is not the smallest ground in New Zealand, this Westpac stadium. No, I've got a bit of thinking about these measurements. I don't know how they get, whether some of these measurements, like some of these big six, six they hit in, in Australia, they think they're 60, 70 metres, but... They go right over the fence, so they've got to be able. Yeah. Anyway, but he, he's a very good cricketer, this fella. Yes. David Guptill. Not Guptill. Martin Guptill. He's got David here. Got Martin. Martin. Is it? Yeah, pretty sure. And of course, see, Steve, this is a couple of highlights. Yeah, the Australian cricket, yep. Stephen Smith is an average of 92 for one day in Test cricket, which is unbelievable. Mm. Amazing, it is. 92, and he's a. Uh, he was stiffed on another hundred last week. Did you see Maxwell and his oh. crazy batting? I told you he's the best one day batsman in the world. He does shot, shots that I've never seen before. He makes them up as he goes along. But he, then he, the innings on the last game they played, he, he, was, he knew how to play the defence. He's an all round cricketer when he wants to be, but mm. some of the shots, and it just, start, it just comes natural. Swing sideways, mm. up over his head, down the sideways. And of course he can. Um, well, he's good to watch. Yeah. Who do you think will play in the um, final? 
Well, I said that about, said about five weeks ago that New Zealand and Australia will play in the final. And I think just about right. Yeah, maybe. Well, New Zealand will be South Africa. Hopefully. They'll, they'll, they'll bowl them out. Any of those four teams could win it. That's no, no, I reckon the South Africa's. If they, if uh, De Villiers, if uh, Penny De Villiers gets out too cheaply, they're gone. Yeah, AB De Villiers. Do you know? Well, AB. Really, really. But his name's Fanny, isn't it? No. Nah. You know? No. Nah. Anyway, uh, there was a Fanny was all the years ago, wasn't he? Yeah, he was yeah. years ago, yeah. But if they get him out under, under 80, well, uh, they went easy in New Zealand. But I think they still will win in Australia or beat India. Don't yeah. worry about that. So you had a uh, prediction six weeks ago, Barry. My prediction six weeks ago, Colin Sapsiva, that was that Australia and New Zealand will play off in the final of this World Cup. And I think it's pretty, just about, not, not for sure, but I think it's just about there. They'll be, they're the two best sides. Yeah. I mean, that first game they played, it was the most exciting game we've ever seen for yeah. about 50 years. Yeah. And oh. the low scoring and the wickets and oh, the... Oh, it was just unreal. And, and the bashing. It had everything. It, it, the whole works. Had it had 600 runs or something. Only 700 runs still. Well, that first game, Australia New Zealand. New Zealand win. New Zealand won. No, they only scored 150. No, the world was a big score. Not then. Oh, oh, that was against New Zealand, wasn't it? No, but they got bowled out. Australia, New Zealand bowled out Australia like easily for 155 or something, and then New Zealand. Well, who made Australia made 300 and something? They got beaten. Well, they well, might have been. They might have won. I know it was. It was, it was 700 runs scored. Sri Lanka. Or there. Sri Lanka. Anyway, but we won. That. Sri Lanka. So anyway. Pakistan fielding, Barry. Well, this goes to show you that uh, some of them catches. Do you see it? Do you see some of them catches dropped? Do you see it? Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, under ten's got a call. It was like they were. They it's were cost of the game. Yeah, I did like. I tell you who I liked. It was that bowler Wahabi or whatever his name was. Wah- fast bowl. He yeah, fast. He had a. He. I mean, look, Watson. He was. He, he wanted to kill him. Yeah. He, he did. He wanted to kill him. Huh. Not hurt him, kill him. Yep. And I must say, it's about time, about time he's done something good. I must say, it was a very good exhibition of getting out the road. And then he finished up getting 65 yeah. not out. So he... So he, out time it, anyway, Watson. It looked like Watson was going to get out any moment. Anyway. He was, that guy was... He was ducking and wheeling oh. around. I mean, I love fast bowling at its best. Well, that reminds me of Thompson and Lily. Yeah. I should do it all. They reckon that he could be that Wahib, Wahib, he could be Pakistani captain at one stage. I reckon he's got, he's got, he's got a bit of mongrel, he's got man, mongrel in him, he's got all that sort of stuff. Oh, he can bowl. They, they finished up getting on top of him in the last couple of hours, but uh, that was, uh, I was sitting there watching, I was, because, I mean, it's not too, have, not too flash when you're batting, you hit these things coming a million mile an hour, just whizzing past your head, it's not a good feeling. No. But that was, as they said, even Shane Ward said, that's one of the best exhibitions of fast bowling seen for 40 years. Yeah. It was excellent. Oh, there you go. Um, the other thing is, is um, so you're just prediction, you're predicting to New Zealand to win? Well, I'm predicting Australia will win, but not by much. And Australia to win against India. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. New Zealand will beat South Africa and Australia will beat India. And, and then in the final. That's on the final on Thursday. That's on it? Sunday. This Sunday. Next Sunday. On Sunday, two thirty. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Yep. Well, that's good. Get it over quickly because the football will be on there. Yeah? yeah, and then the football's on that on the Thursday. The Thursday start of the season. Richmond Carlton. Thursday week. It's on in ten days. Is that quick? Ten days is is um on the on the wow. Thursday night. Well, Carlton well, Richmond. There'll be a plethora of sports for Barry to uh, just go from spin bowling. So we've got Tuesday and Thursday World Cup and the World Cup final on Sunday. And then the following Thursday, the, the, the first round of the AFL starts. Well, you always have plenty of uh, I'll have plenty to talk about the next couple of weeks, and I'll keep you informed. Very good. Now you went and see, you got some news on Chelsea. Yes, I went. Saturday game. I went down to the Chelsea football ground, and watched Chelsea play Clayton. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of the players they recruited. It's about time they rec- recruited some decent players. They, mm-hmm. I reckon they got about six players. That'll okay. just walk up, be a walk-up start for the first senior game in three weeks. But this uh, Daniel Stafford, he got off the plane on comes from Darwin. He got off the plane on Thursday night. And remember, I told you a few weeks ago. Yeah. I got this guy from Darwin. He's a big yeah. ruckman. Yeah. I saw it. I was talking to a few fellas a couple of weeks. I said, oh, he's coming. Anyway, he got off the plane on Thursday night. Friday night, he had a run on Friday afternoon. Played on Saturday. Just had a quiet game. Seven goals. And he is six foot five. Mm-hmm. 
You want to see him take him off. He stands in, jumps. Just clamps. He's part averaging. Yeah. Oh, they're going to get... He, he's going to be the, uh, the superstar. Mm. Plus we've got another four or five other fellows. That, just a fellow called Taylor or Naylor. Mm -hmm. Write their numbers down. What was their numbers? Uh, he had seven goals, one in kick. Uh, yeah, number 22, or Taylor. He comes from uh, down that way, down towards Melbourne. Uh, number 14, number, tw number 34. Look, we've got, we got some of these players, like Tony Gander and and Tra Travis Graham, he wasn't playing, but Daniel Arsman, they're not going to be able to stand up like they did last year. These mm. fellas, they're superstar. We will be in the fall, mate, without any shadow of doubt. So a little bit more detail on, on the game and what? Yes, I'll give you the final score on Saturday. Connell. Chelsea kicked 17-15 to 4-5. Mm, wow. And, and they kicked two goals. Dominoes. They kicked two goals in the second quarter. So they scored oh. one goal after half time. And uh, who, so who stood out in that game? I'll tell you who stood out. I'll tell you who did stand out. Noiser. He's back. Oh, he's he back. Brilliant. Of course, Stafford. Uh, Stafford, yep. Daniel Stafford, best on the ground easily. And Ryan Stewart. Hey, Ryan Stewart's come back. All right. Played Very half good. a game. Yeah. I said, him, I said, he said oh, I don't want to play a half. And so did Trotty Garden. He only played a half. All oh, right. He, he played all right, too. Yeah. Uh, How many goals did our man Stafford kick? 7-1. Only seven. He, cook, he took about... Almost uh, as good as you. Yeah. Not quite. He not kicked quite one. Quite. Yeah, he got a one. Bit of a blemish. Bit of ordinary. Seven one. Yeah. I kicked seven straight. But they... Uh, seven... And he cooked... Talk, beg your pardon. Ten marks. Pretty good. Very good. But when the ball goes... And it, when the ball hits the ground, it, it, some of these six foot five fellas... Yeah, they get a bit... Yeah. He'd he give a couple away too. I mean... He, I said, I said to Snake, I said, look, this this fellow is unreal. It's worth waiting for. Mm. I mean, he was supposed to come about four weeks ago, and he's only he's been in Victoria three days, and he's kicked seven goals, five, and he, and he hardly knew anybody in the team. In the team. Wow. So that was, of course, Stewie, Tony Gardner, and Jay Nadart. He played well too, but a couple of the other fellows I didn't know their uh, their name was number twenty-two Taylor. He, he, he's not tough. We've got another fella, mm -hmm. another tough fella too. Oh look, Chelsea supporters, buy your membership, because he's mine. He's a, a signed up member. He's mine, he's very Member good. number 32. Yeah, member 32. So all you people out there watching this video, dig in your you, pockets. You and put come, your money where your mouth is. Put your money, because we, we're, we're going to be in the finals this year. For yeah, sure. sign up early. Even our second side, we're going to have a very good second side too. Mm. So I was very happy about... Excellent. So you'll keep us up to date with um, the goings on because it's, it's probably two, three weeks that we're playing, less than three weeks. Three Sundays away. I yeah, think. three Sundays away. Today, so Monday. Monday. So less than three, three weeks. Fourteenth. What's the same? Yeah, fourteenth. It says the fourteenth. Fourteenth of March, isn't it? it? Says the fourteenth. The twelfth of April is the first game, which is on a Sunday. We play on a Sunday. And it's less than three weeks away. Yeah. So we have action to plenty in the next action few weeks. Action to plenty. So we'll get those updates and a, f a fair bit to talk about. But uh, any any Cheerios there, Barry? Yeah, I've got Cheerios. Uh, Ernie and Carl, Ernie, Ernie and Carl had another 10 hour blackout yesterday. Mm. You should but just give us updates on when they actually have electricity. When they do. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh because it's, uh, I mean, well, they, they get used to that. They just. Mm. Annie's got a little electric fan. Mm. So she. Carl can't sleep when she, there's no fan. So she's got mm. this electric fan she holds and. Until Carla goes to sleep. Like a battery run. Battery run, yeah. Mm. But, uh, yeah, Annie and Carla and Lloyd, because Lloyd is still making cakes, and uh, and P.H. How's Jerry going? How's them curtains going up there? Jer uh, P.H. is. I was waiting for Jerry to send my set of curtains down to BP's joint, but, uh, but I'll, I'll let you. Uh, <laughs> How's things going, Jerry? Everything going all right? Who else was going to tell you? Uh, Oh yeah, Phil, the Tigers are going to be in the four this year, mate. They're going to be in the four for sure. I've just seen, oh, I've seen a bit of the game. They got beaten by North Melbourne, they only like 10 points, but yeah. they'll be in the four. And, and oh, beg your pardon, Shandy and Carlos. What's going on, mate? All right, you're behaving yourself like you've been a good boy. But apart from that, PH and Shandy and Carlos, that's all we got for today. That's goodbye from me. Bye-bye from me.